Potential energy is gravitational potential energy. It's very easy to give an object gravitational potential energy. You quite simply lift it up. Any object that moves upwards gains gravitational potential energy. You can gain it climbing upstairs or standing on top of a mountain. If you really want to gain a lot of gravitational potential energy, you need to go up in a plane. The higher you are off the ground, the more gravitational potential energy you have. Fairground rides are excellent places to gain gravitational potential energy. However, you need to be prepared to lose it quite quickly as well. Now for a quick experiment to show how gravitational potential energy can be changed into other forms of energy. I took some of my lab geeks up to the top of a very high fire escape. I frame one over the edge, I could test out my theory. Wait, come on. Over the edge. I don't want it! Wanna do an experiment? Over, over, that's it, over. Right, at the moment his gravitational potential energy is stored. That's what potential means. But we're gonna get rid of it now by pushing him over the edge. Okay lads, push him over. Oi! Well, there goes that theory. Geeks can't fly. Still, it did show us that the gravitational potential energy had changed into another form of energy. But what type? I think it changes into sound energy because he screams. I think that is kinetic energy because he is moving. I think he needs an ambulance. Which one do you think is the truth? You've got 10 seconds. Correct. The answer is B. So, to give something gravitational potential energy, all you've got to do is lift it up. It's stored potential energy. If you want to give it more, you lift it higher. And to get rid of the gravitational potential energy, yeah. we release it. It becomes kinetic. Dead easy to remember, isn't it? Right, not all for today, you lot. In your cupboards, come on. Come on, back in your cupboards. Back oh, on. Back up. Back up.